Okay. I'm gonna finally fit this floor. Guess what we're doing today? All right. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you're enjoying this build. We're gonna put this in here today. We're gonna do a trial fit and see how it fits. Kind of line everything the up. Height of everything so that we can start making the bars from the frame for the frame rail. Right. Now right, let me get this set up. Hey, it looks like a car now. Well, that's what it's gonna look it's like go, when it's, it's gotta go. No, I know, but it's it's in there. <laughs> Almost doesn't fit. But well good yeah. thing these bend, because or else it wouldn't have fit in there. <clears throat> well it was tight anyway. As you can see these all gotta get bent. Hey, back look, in your end up, it's gotta go that way a little bit and then I have to push this tab and it's gotta go little tab. So let me uh we'll fit it in a little better now. So you guys can see it. Okay, so from underneath we could see So the floor's gotta go back still, but you could see that this that little lip's on there, so we're gonna cut notch this out a little bit so this floor goes back more and then under the bottom right where the mounts are we gotta notch out the the lift of the floor so it sits down in there you know so it drops down nice so we're gonna cut that out now <clears throat> and then we'll put it back and fit it again so we can start to mark out all the holes that we, we gotta, gotta drill we're gonna make the holes in the floor yeah and then we'll Spot weld it off. Through weld, like, like those little plug welds like we did to everything else. From the top into the heavy good metal instead of going the opposite way and welding upside down. This way these will be nice and clean. We won't see nothing from the bottom. <clears throat> and then we'll grind these clean, whatever, and this will get repainted when it's all done. And then it'll get a, probably get a black carpet over it anyway, so. Yeah. You won't see nothing. We can put the floor real high like this. This way you can hit your head on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> put a gurney bubble in the Yeah, we'll in put the a gurney bubble on the roof. All right, come on, let's notch this real quick. Both sides. All right, so floor is fitted how we want it. So let's see. Let's see. So you can see that's where it's got a, these. These obviously go further up. So we marked the line out, outlined them, and then we'll go just a little bit in from this line. Drill all our holes out. Same thing on the on the back. And then on the side, we'll use the little air punch one and make our, all our holes on the side. And then obviously all our holes here, we just put down the center for the tunnel. All right, so I'm gonna pull it out and start drilling away. All right, so, yeah, I wasn't videoing, but whatever. So, you did? No, those. Anyway, he made all the holes with the little punch for all the plug holes. Mm -hmm. And then all these dots gotta all get drilled out. Because if not, that means you'd have to drill that frame out in all of them holes. Yeah, well, this is easier. This to is drill a lot easier to, to, and plus it'll be cleaner because then you're really welding this to that instead of no, trying no. to burn through yeah. that thing. This so. will burn right into it. So all them holes gotta get done. You're them little spots. Okay. All these little spot welds are what holds your whole car together. Yeah. That's it. And even, you could see when you cut these. Yeah. You know this bridge. It's real flimsy, real quick. If this whole whole lip wasn't there, this thing is just whoop, pulled like a pretzel. <sighs> All right, 
Yeah, he's gonna be a while. They're all coming out. All right. Meanwhile, we're gonna make our first cut. Got the machine all ready to go here, vendor. This is the plan here. The plan is to go up into the frame rail. We're gonna notch the back of the frame rail so that the tube goes through it. And we're gonna notch the side of it so that another tube is gonna go across it. This is gonna get welded to there, that's gonna get welded to there. It's gonna come back like this and then cut in into this plate right there. That's the plan. See how it works out. and a half, open it up a little bit. to lay flat and then it's gonna get a bend in it you done all right so then it'll get a bend we'll make it come flat to this and it'll go down and then we'll butt weld that on there. The tube will come out of here, go straight, and then have a little curve at the end so we can weld it straight to that face. It's gotta be like that. This one's just gonna go just a hair more bending it. it. Used to be at 30. Right there. Right there. Yeah. 31. There's no 32. pressure on it. That should be good. 
<clears throat> Everything is pretty much the same. We bent this one Left already, so right. that one. But well, you got to make sure when you're tweaking them. So that's them like that. Now we got to cut them flat. And then they'll fit right up against it. We open the other hole up to meet those oblong like an egg. Mm -hmm. Weld them in. <clears throat> well, not yet. Then we got to bend this to meet the frame rail on the back. Yeah, those are going to have to get bent that right. way now. So we need to attack them off now. Got to make, uh, you got to cut the right angle though on them. Yep. So. So, I'm going to go in here with this. We gotta mark them and cut them with the cut holes. Over here. Alright, so we're cutting our flat piece. Doesn't have to be exactly perfect, huh? I said it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but it's close gonna, enough. It's, yeah, because now when we put it in, I'll just yeah. shave it until yeah. it fits perfect. So that's oh, there you go. that's good. Of me. Well, I pop you in the head. Very very good. So now that slides. <clears throat> By the way. Measure it twice. Cut once. Especially with the way prices are for metal. Go ahead. Pull it back out. We're going to trim it back a little bit more. Well, here, I want to see what it looks like. Here. Well, it's got to get trimmed back a little bit. I know. But... Yep. Go right trim my hair more. Right about there. In the middle, like that. It's going to work good. Yep. Okay. Now don't drop that one on the floor at all. Had to go buy two new grinders. They finally died on us the other one. Yeah. Down. You gotta make it flat though. Huh? Make it. All right, come in, hold this so I can see. All right, it's close though. You hold that there. You gotta, gotta kind of hold it flat. Flat and up against the thing. No, That's it. How much wood do you think you're going to get? I don't know. Where were you holding it? <laughs> I'm holding it right there. All right. Now we just got to make this hole bigger so that it comes through and mm -hmm. then we'll grind it clean and then that's it. Okay. That's it, man. Now let's do the See other what I'm saying about if you make the hole, if, by making the bend higher and then cutting the, yeah, yeah. cutting the egg out of it and then it drops it back down to the right size. Twist it a little bit this way. There you go. Perfect. All right. Well, let's cut the other Come one. Come here. Look at it now. Cleaning up all the metal shavings and the dust. Get ready to put this floor back in there now. See where it's going to sit with the putt with the uh, tubing in place, so we can see where we're bending the tubing next. All right. 
right, let's see right. here. Check it out. Check it out. There's your beautiful floor, man. Oh, our whole sure looks nice. All the holes okay. line up with everything. Perfect. Look at that. The weld all that stuff together now. All these in the front. Those will all come out. We'll push those up. We're gonna get the bar in here now. Yep. We'll put the, but put the all tube this, in here. See how this fits now? Look, nice and tight. Nice and tight. Got all the weld spots, all the plug welds. Even against here, look at how nice and tight all yeah. that is. All right. right that one's gonna get metal. pushed down. You can push down that. Yeah. Push that down a little better. Yep. And then we'll get the front lined up so we know that's the where it goes. Gonna put them tubes in, frame rails in. Well, now we gotta pick the floor up. That so, super or no, no, that's never a nice mind. fit, man. It's a nice floor, actually. Right. I wonder what cool. we got. We gotta pick it up a little bit so we can get those yeah. tubes in. Okay. All right, so right now we're oblonging these holes so that these bars fit. Here. in the main hoop. I'll show you what. <sighs> We're gonna have to just move the bench yeah, over a little bit. I was gonna, no, I did it right. Um, oh, never mind. So that doesn't get all gold up. We got a cross member coming. We'll put a cross member across it, and then this is going to go right to the cross member. So it's basically going to be like a, a full chassis car, but have a floor in it. So he's going to be set. And one of the next investments is going to be pneumatic <laughs> hydraulic thing for this. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, well, ancient 5.8s, I mean, it bends on it. We're not doing this every day. You've been doing this every day. Ooh. That'll be 93. That's gonna charge you. All right. All right, so we just took the straps off. We had it strapped in and pulled down and back to make it seat real good. We got this all clamped down. We got our measurements from here to the spring perch. So now we're gonna take it back apart. Um, I got I got the main hoop bent, so we're gonna try to fit that. See how that fits up in there, and then we're gonna keep working on the, all the bars before we put the floor in place. So we're gonna take this floor back out. All right. So we got the door. Got plenty of room there. We just set the hoop up. We're gonna set it back up one more time. And we're just making sure everything doesn't interfere with the door or anything, but it sits, it sits in here like that. Turn the light you on know. there. Uh, then you can't see the top. Oh. All right, I'm just gonna put it on real quick and clamp it in, but that's basically where it's gonna sit. All right. All right, so that's where this is gonna sit. That's where that's going to sit, just like that. That's why I wanted to make sure the door was going to fit good. I left enough room here so we can weld all the way around. These are in place right there. Where They're these are going to sit when the floor is in, basically. So we're going to put a cross member. We're going to put a, a two degrees tilt back on that, which is... Nothing. Can't even really see it, but this will end up right here, even with this door. Mm-hmm. So the cross member will go right across here like this. You got a drop cross member. Instead of going in like that, because then these are going to get cut off. 
So I don't want nothing attached to that that I don't need right now. That I will need later. So once these are in like this, the cross members in this, all this from here, from the cross member forward, doesn't get touched Stays. anymore. Yep. Those two will stay in. They just get nipped in the back and then reattached to the Four, two rear the, bars, yeah. the two rear rails when the, when the rails come in. So you got a picture of the rails. The cross member will be here like this. Mm -hmm. So instead of... I was talking to Tommy. Um, it's always good to bounce ideas off everybody. So Tommy was like, well, why don't you just move this forward? I'm thinking, oh, you know what? Instead of buying a, a pre-welded kit. That they have to put a right. you know, cross member to hold everything together. And right. I'll use this cross member later. I'll buy two rear round two rails with the four link brackets, right? And then instead of having a 25 inch, um, it'll just be a little that more. Board, that thing? Yeah, right here. So the ladder bars will just yeah. be a little bit longer. Well, the I bars, mean, the, bars. The, the four link bars will be a little bit longer. But which, that don't matter. That so. don't matter. Nothing, right? So the four link bars will be in, in a little bit longer. We'll just custom make those because we're gonna make. Which them you make them anyway. We're so. gonna make them anyway, so it don't really matter. And then everything else will line up. And you'll end up with this same cross member as your main hoop, main cross member, everything from here back. And then it all gets tied in, you know, from different angles and whatever to hold all of that in place. Yeah, I'm liking it. It's good. It's going to be good. So this is going to go here like this. This is going to go here like this. Right at that height like that. Right even with the bottom of the floor. Because the, these, these are where they're supposed to be. They didn't, those, those don't move. So the lease springs, everything will line up from, from your lease spring purchase forward now. And then everything will go from the cross member forward, I mean back later. <clears throat> so I'm good. I'm happy with that. So we're going to tweak the bar, the hoop, give it a little angle where we need it to be and then I'm gonna nip these off put these up in there hole saw these so that the cross member will fit up against them hole saw the bottom of this so they fit down on the cross member and then we'll take it apart again put the floor in make holes where we need to make holes which is only gonna be these two holes right here like this mm -hmm. put it in Pick the floor up. Weld all the. Weld all these. Put the cross member in. Weld the cross member in. Weld all this stuff in. While the while the floor is up in the air like that. Drop the floor down where we where it goes, and then dip the the K the uh, center hoop the main hoop into the hole, and weld that in place. And then you're only going to end up with two holes. The same size as the tube. Pretty much so. the size of that tube. Maybe a hair bigger or whatever, but that's not. I mean, usually we just make a hole and then put a patch around it, but just off. Uh, well, turn, turn that light on and off. I mean, let me see if I can. Don't even see it. It's just beautiful. It's just perfect. So, we got to wait for this cross member. Hopefully the cross member will show up today. That's the only thing I can't bend on that bender is a cross member because it, uh, it it needs two different radiuses two different radiuses one's real tight and so all right all right so next, we're waiting next on a cross thing. member in the meantime i want to start nipping all this stuff off